let's just face it, gaming pretty much drives the entire PC universe. Yeah, some people have them for office computers, but those things are really dirt cheap and done by companies like Dell and Mass Book. We all know that gamers and gaming is what fuels the entire industry. People are always building better computers, better video cards are always coming out, and it is really just what completely makes everybody want to have a great computer, right? I mean, that's just how it is. Now, Ray tracing is really the future of gaming. And when Nvidia first released their RTX series of cards, a lot of people were like confused with the release because they were like, usually all we see is more frames per second. That's usually the standard business model for any type of launch. But this time, something new, innovative, and different was introduced. And the timing was just perfect. And this was ray tracing and admittedly when ray tracing first came out it came out to a rocky start just like any new technology does there wasn't a whole lot of games out there that supported it or anything like that and in fact you know when battlefield 5 first came out it had some crazy problems you know what i mean there was lags in the game it just had lower frame rates you know but as there were patches that came out, and as new drivers came out, ray tracing just became better and better and better. And let's just face it, when ray tracing first came out, most of the people that were trying to put it in the game were just doing this as an afterthought. They were like, hey, okay, here's a new tool. What is it? Let's see what we can do. And obviously, that's probably not going to get the absolute best results as you know as we've seen in battlefield 5 but now as ray tracing has been you know more and more embraced by game developers out there and it's a really easy sandbox for people to work in we're seeing games like control that are being built from the ground up with all of these great ray tracing features now ray tracing what it really does is it makes a game look more realistic, which means better reflections, better lighting. And some of these things you might not even really notice because let's just face it, you're playing a game. So, you know, if a shadow's wrong or, you know, if, if the lighting's not totally correct, sometimes when you're just playing a game, you're gonna be totally forgiving and just keep moving on and be like, eh, whatever. But what ray tracing is doing is it's actually fixing all of those things and making games become more and more realistic. And today we're gonna show you the top three, the top three of 2019 executions of using ray tracing. So let's check it out. First up is Metro Exodus. Following the ray trace reflections of Battlefield 5 and the shadows and shadows of Tomb Raider, Metro Exodus was the first time gamers really saw the difference ray tracing made in a game. The ray traced global illumination was much more than eye candy. With more realistic lighting, it created a feeling of being fully immersed in the game. With ray tracing turned off, my internal voice was going, okay, I'm supposed to be scared. It's supposed to be dark and gloomy, you know, but with ray tracing on, it was dark and gloomy and I was scared. Big difference there. Game developers can use ray tracing to set the mood in the game, the same way movie makers and photographers do in their work. Using dim lighting, shadows, and overbright textures, artists can deliver the message of mysterious, spooky, or even warmth in a game, and all at a single glance from the user. Things that are supposed to be scary are actually scary with the correct lighting, and these subtle visual lighting cues can trigger feelings and emotional reactions, making the game even more realistic to the player. You could say a big contribution ray tracing makes to a game is psychological, with realistic lighting setting a mood that connects with elements ingrained into the human psyche. Metro Exodus also has a DLC out called The Two Colonels which is out for only eight bucks. And you don't even need the full game to play the DLC. This DLC is a great intro to what ray tracing can really do to a game. Plus, you get a flamethrower. I mean, 
Who doesn't like flamethrowers? Now next up is Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Now this game uses ray traced shadows and this makes you feel much more immersed in the game. And what I mean by that is the more natural the environment looks and feels to you, the more you're going to really be into that game like it's the real deal. I mean, come on, when we see shadows in the real world, we can usually tell what the light source is just based on the location of that shadow. Soft edges are farther away, while hard edges are much closer. We register all these subtle visual clues without even really thinking about it, but our brains never shot off. They're constantly on and processing this information that these subtle clues deliver. When we play a game and things don't mimic real life, it breaks that immersion factor. And it kind of just reminds you that just like you're playing a game, it just isn't real life. In first person shooter games like COD Modern Warfare, an immersive experience is a big part of fully enjoying the game. With ray tracing bringing more accurate lighting and shadows to feel like you're in real life. You'll be immersed in the action and you won't be constantly reminded that you're just playing a game. And no matter what RTX GPU you have, you'll get all the RTX bells and whistles COD Modern Warfare has to offer. The effects in this game are only getting better and better, as is the performance. Now third on this list is Control, and like I said, Control is a really jaw-dropping game. It's got all kinds of crazy eye candy, and this game has been fully developed from the ground up using all of the great effects that ray tracing offers. Control is definitely a glimpse into the future of what games can look like when ray tracing is in its prime. NVIDIA partnered with Remedy Entertainment on this game and they were able to create realistic lighting effects, shadows, and even transparent reflections, just like you'd see on a glass window. They also brought DLSS to Control as well to provide state-of-the-art anti-aliasing and upscaling. And the immersion factor in this game is just off the hook. The reflections alone are honestly worth buying this game. They implement exact geometric detail, meaning no matter what angle you are at, the reflection is accurate and highly detailed. They also use the lighting of a scene to produce lifelike reflections on floors, walls, and like I said, even transparent reflections that you would see on windows. It's really quite impressive and if you've played the game, you know what I'm talking about. Ray traced indirect diffuse lighting is also implemented in control, meaning you get more accurate shadowing and lighting reflected from nearby surfaces. It even picks up the color contained in the reflected light and it does this in real time. Control also uses ray trace contact shadowing to enhance the accuracy of shadow maps that are cast from bright lights. Contact shadows give way more depth to a scene. It places shadows on objects where they are touching the ground or even touching other objects. This high level of detail definitely gives Control that real life feel. Now I know a big question on everybody's mind is, hey, Will ray tracing actually kill my frames per second? And the answer is no. DLSS actually boosts frame rates and at the same time it maintains the visual quality of your game. And what's even better is I know a lot of people think they have to go out and buy the most expensive expensive RTX card that there is to get the great effects of ray tracing and that's not true at all. Even the entry level RTX cards will bring you all of that ray tracing goodness right to your game environment. So I'm Eric, you guys have been watching Tekka tomorrow. Um, like I said, more and more games are coming out and being developed from the very ground up with ray tracing. And all three games that we took a look at today launched with ray tracing from the start. And there are lots of more titles happening all the time. And ray tracing, like I said, is truly the future of gaming. It just makes games look so much more realistic and lifelike and gives you a feel that you're not actually playing a game. You're really more immersed in the environment where you're at. We'll have a link down below if you guys want to check out more information about these games, check out more information about NVIDIA as well.
and we'll see you guys back around tech tomorrow for more tech peace